We're uncovering the hidden origins of the Industrial Revolution, a period that saw the world change like never before. Yeah, imagine this, a single invention so powerful it disrupted life, economy, and society on a global scale. It all started with one innovation and invention designed for an unexpected purpose, but powerful enough to kickstart a revolution. Today, we journey through the rise of the steam engine, how it transformed industries, reshaped cities, and forever changed how people live and work. Life before the revolution, a world needing change. Before the industrial revolution, life in Europe was labor intensive and centered around agriculture. People lived in rural areas and their livelihoods depended on manual work, seasonal crops and limited resources. Life was slow paced with little technology to assist and the economies remained fairly stagnant. Europe's population was growing rapidly especially in Britain which placed more strain on resources. But traditional methods of production were limited by the physical constraints of manual labor and simple tools. Society was reaching a breaking point with a critical need for efficiency in producing everything from food to clothing. Our story starts in an unexpected place not a factory or a bustling city, but deep underground in the coal mines of early 18th century England. Coal was vital to British industry and everyday life, but mining coal came with a severe problem to the solution, as miners dug deeper water seep into the mines, flooding the tunnels and making mining nearly impossible. Powerful tool was needed to pump the water out and power the pump to remove water from flooded mines. And Thomas Newcomen, an English iron miner who in LTLR, developed a steam-powered engine to solve this exact problem. The Newcomen engine was one of the first practical applications of steam power. Newcomen's engine was rudimentary but it was able to drive a piston using steam pressure, which in turn this motion activated the pump again making coal mining easier and paving the way for future developments in steam power that little did anyone know. The engine's design was simple, steam would fill the cylinder then cool and condense, creating a vacuum that pulled the piston downward and it wasn't efficient but it got the job done. Revolutionizing the steam engine, James Watt's critical improvements. Though Newcomen's engine was groundbreaking, it was limited. It consumed a lot of fuel, making it expensive and inefficient. That's where James Watt comes in a man who would take Newcomen's invention and turn it into a true revolutionary force. Watt was a Scottish engineer and in the 1860s as he was hired to repair a Newcomen engine at Glasgow University then but while he worked on it, Watt realized there was a way to make the steam engine more efficient. He added a separate condenser to Newcomen's design, which allowed the engine to maintain steam in one chamber while cooling it in another, avoiding heat loss and significantly reducing fuel consumption. Watt's engine was about three times more efficient than Newcomen's, making it powerful and cost-effective enough to be used not only in mines but also in a variety of industries. Watt's improvements created a versatile adaptable machine that could power more than just pumps it could drive machines, wheels and even vehicles. This was the true beginning of the industrial revolution. The impact on textile industry spinning and weaving redefined. Now with a more efficient steam engine entrepreneurs saw an opportunity in the textile industry which was a cornerstone of the British economy. Before the industrial revolution, textiles were produced by hand, typically in people's homes. It was a slow, laborious process as spinning, weaving and dyeing required meticulous handwork. But with steam-powered machinery, everything changed. Factories or mills as they were called emerged, using steam engines to power spinning jennies, water frames and power looms. These machines could produce textiles on a large scale, reducing costs, saving time and making clothes and fabrics more accessible. The changes were staggering. A single machine could spin and weave more cotton in a day than a team of people could manage by hand. By the late Italian as steam-powered textile factories began appearing across Britain creating an entirely new industry and workforce. What was once a slow, painstaking process became a high-speed, high-volume industry. The transformation of cities, the birth of industrial towns, the industrial revolution didn't just change industries. It changed where people live and how societies were structured. Factories needed workers, and soon rural villagers began flocking to cities in search of employment. This migration led to the rapid growth of industrial towns and cities like Manchester, Birmingham and Liverpool. Manchester became so synonymous with industry that it earned the nickname Cobnopolis. Urbanization was swift, intense and chaotic and people moved from quiet agricultural life to densely populated cities filled with factories. Noise and pollution their new tenement house Thousands sprang up around factories creating crowded often unsanitary living conditions. But these cities weren't prepared for the influx. Streets were crowded, 
and infrastructure lag behind. For many workers, urban life was difficult. Factory hours were long, wages were low, and conditions were harsh. Yet, despite these hardships, the cities continued to grow, and industrial towns became the epicenters of economic activity. Industrialization spreads beyond Britain. Britain's industrial boom didn't go unnoticed. Countries across Europe and North America saw the success of British factories and began adopting similar practices. The demand for coal and steam engines grew as countries raced to industrialize. Steam power spread to railways. Which would become the arteries of growing industrial societies. Railways allowed for the rapid transportation of goods and people connecting towns and facilitating trade. Soon, the innovations that began in Britain's coal mines reached across the Atlantic to the United States and throughout Europe, fueling the global industrial expansion. The dark side of industrialization, worker and environmental costs, but industrialization came with a cost. As factories consumed more coal, cities became clogged in smog and rivers filled with industrial waste. Pollution levels rose to unprecedented heights. The urban environment became a hazardous place to live and work. For workers, life was equally grim. The factories demanded long hours, often up to 16 hours a day, in dangerous conditions. The machinery was unforgiving, and injuries were common. Workers, including women and children, toiled in these conditions with little legal protection. This harsh reality led to the rise of labor movements. Workers began to demand fair wages, reasonable hours, and safe working conditions. Planting the seeds for unions and labor rights that we still see today. The lasting legacy of the Industrial Revolution, despite the costs, the Industrial Revolution left an indelible mark on the world. It gave birth to modern urban society, transforming economies and shaping the political landscape. The innovations sparked by the steam engine created the world we live in today—a world of mass production, global trade, and rapid technological advancement. Today. We stand on the shoulders of that revolution. While technology has advanced and society has progressed, many of the issues raised by industrialization, workers' rights, environmental impact, and economic inequality still echo in our modern world. The industrial revolution was not just a period of invention; it was a turning point for humanity, a time when societies were forced to confront the consequences of progress. Yet we continue to innovate and adapt. The modern technology has brought us into an era of digital and green revolutions. So. Solar panels, wind turbines, and advanced robotics are reshaping our industries once again. We're harnessing new sources of energy and striving for cleaner, more sustainable solutions. In many ways, today's advancements are a continuation of the same spirit that fueled the industrial revolution centuries ago: the quest for a better, more efficient way of life. The industrial revolution began with a simple need to solve a mining problem and led to an explosion of innovation. That would shape the modern world. It's a powerful reminder of how one breakthrough in this case, the steam engine, can spark a series of events that ripple across history, from textile factories to railroads, from crowded industrial towns to globalized cities. The impact of that innovation is still felt today. The next time you walk through a busy city, turn on the light or hop on a train. Remember that it all started with one idea, one engine, and one man who dared to imagine a different world. Thank you for joining us on this journey through one of the most pivotal periods in history. If you enjoyed today's deep dive into the Industrial Revolution, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with fellow history lovers, and subscribe to History for Everyone. Stay tuned for more fascinating stories that change the world, and see you next time.